Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I'm going to take two of my favorite types of food. One of my favorite types of cooking is Mexican cooking. Another of my favorite types of cooking is Japanese cooking. So I'm going to take a Mexican recipe and a Japanese recipe and I'm going to mix them together to make my own new recipe. And it is ramen chicken tortilla soup. Okay, let's get started. Here's the ingredients you're going to need. A packet of chicken flavored instant ramen. A chicken breast. Some cilantro and some limes. An onion and some garlic. A can of diced tomatoes and a can of corn. Some black beans already cooked. Some cumin, some salt, and some pepper. Some extra virgin olive oil. Some, some tortilla chips some jalapenos and some chipotes. Sour cream. Okay, here's what we need to do first. Cut up the chicken breast into smaller pieces. Dice up the onion. Chop up the garlic. And chop up the chipotle. Just a small amount. Okay. I have some of my ingredients ready. So to start with, I'm going to use a small saucepan and put in a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Okay, once the oil is hot, I'm going to add my onion, my garlic, and my chipotle. A little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh ground pepper and a little bit of cumin, ground cumin. Stir it up. And then I'm going to add my chicken. and I'm gonna cook it until my chicken is brown and cooked all the way. Oh, this smells so good. Come have a look. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the other ingredients. Here I have some black beans, already cooked black beans. Just a couple spoonfuls. Some elote to add a little bit of sweetness. And some canned diced tomatoes. With a little bit of the juice. I'm going to cook that for a little bit longer just to heat it up and now I can start cooking my ramen okay I have my soup base already stewing over here and now I'm going to do my ramen and I'm just using regular instant noodle ramen um, chicken flavor so open it up Make sure you keep the packet. We're gonna use the packet in a little bit. Put your ramen and your boiling water. And begin to let the ramen cook. Okay, something most people don't know about instant ramen is you should constantly be agitating it, poking it, holding it, picking it up. Because what that does is it pulls it out of the boiling water 
and lets it cool a little bit and then get hot a little bit and cool a little bit and get hot a little bit. And that makes the ramen a little bit more stretchy. It makes it a little bit more flexible. So it makes it much a much different feel in your mouth while you're eating it. And it makes it much more delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna take the instant noodle packet, instant ramen packet, and add it to my soup. And that will just help give it a little bit more chicken flavor. Okay, my ramen are done, so I'm gonna add my ramen to my bowl. Okay, so my soup is ready. It's at a really nice consistency. My ramen is ready. So I'm just gonna spoon in my soup. to make it a little bit creamy. Some lime. And a handful of cilantro that I'm just gonna rip up on the top. And you have infusion Mexican, Japanese, ramen, tortilla, soup. Okay, and I would suggest eating chopsticks and a spoon. Mmm, that is so good.